Think of your prince or princess charming and pick an eye. You're gonna pick left or right. We're gonna start with the left. We are using the heart's eye oracle that is available in my Etsy shop. All right, if you pick the left, we have somebody going through a healing now. They're healing some regret. They going through a dark place. Um, I'm seeing one eye closed, one eye opened. Uh, this reminds me of eyelashes here. Could be somebody that used to wink at you. Maybe when you would flirt, they would wink at you. That's coming through as well. So this person, um, if they hurt you or walked away or froze, I'm seeing somebody like just not moving, like they're frozen in fear. That could have happened. We have healing. We have healing and we have finding peace. So I feel like just as you're starting to make peace and, and forgiving them um, as they're healing, you'll start to get um, communication. We have the sun here. So this is somebody that um, put you could have put you through some turmoil over the summer or one of you is a fire sign. Gonna get some, oh, look at that. <laughs> some love messages from My Fairy Tale is Real. That's also available in my Etsy. You've improved their life. I'm hearing I owe you, so they feel like they owe you. Um, they have made promises to you, and so if they haven't fulfilled them, they're probably going to um, try and fulfill them in the future. We have more than you know. Did you expect anything else? I want to hold that promise more than you know. I will follow through. Did you expect me to not follow through? <laughs> it's a little bit of um, pompousness there. So... Follow for more readings. Comment a castle if that resonated. Now we're moving on to the right eye. Ooh, we have fulfilled, okay? Um, I feel like this person meets everything. I'm seeing somebody writing like some kind of checklist and it fulfills them. And I'm also seeing other people, it's either you or them, who had like some kind of list or some kind of type and you or them um, doesn't fit into that anywhere on that yet the chemistry is so the energy is just so fulfilling you can't put words to it and like on paper should it make sense should it make sense how you guys light up each other's life and, and heal each other could be a water sign that looks like a lot of water there we have power when you guys are together there's a lot of power this is um some sacral energy alignment as well you could have had your sacral um, chakra blocked, and when like when you're around them, it kind of feels like this like spiritual and sexual awakening at the same time. So it's like you're harnessing a lot of that sexual energy to manifest what you want. And we have thankful. Um, you're hosting a lot of gratitude right now. I feel like. Um, I'm hearing the flowers were a different color. You had this kind of, you almost saw yourself as, as this garden and you had certain color petals, but then when you're with them, it's like the petals change to another color and you love who you are. You love what color your petals are when you're with them. You love the change you see in yourself around them, the power you feel in your connection and good or bad you're still grateful for who you've become or who you see yourself as around this person or since you've met this person. This says, I'm ready. We breathe together. So this is definitely a spiritual connection of being in sync with each other too. Um, a lot of alignment there <laughs> always. So this could be like, Harry Potter, you're always breathing together. You're always in alignment. This says, I forgot what the skin, uh, what your skin tasted like until the ocean spray kissed my lips. So um, that's kind of like if you if you relate to uh, any Atlantean past lives, Atlantis, mermaids, things like that. You're like, I forgot we had a past life together until like I met you or I kissed you or I touched you, and then it was like. Um, it all came back like, wow, we had this, you know, mission together. So let's get, um, when I do the pick of piles, I like to do a message for both piles here. 
We both need to know. We have surrendering, okay? Um, a lot of people get confused when they see a card like this or this word and they are like, surrender, does that mean to give up? Does that mean to quit? Surrendering does not mean quitting in a, in a sense. Um, you could be surrender, you could be, you could be, I guess you could be quitting a mindset, basically. A mindset of trying to put a gun to the universe's head saying, um, I want them to call me by Friday. I want to live with them by November. You're like time closing them. And you know, sometimes we do advise people to set a time like, okay, if this doesn't happen, make a different decision, right? But there's some kind of, this is a different situation other than that. That's about, that's about self, you know, self-respect and stuff. This here is about, you know what, whether they're not talking or they are talking, it's still part of the, the plan. It's still the fork in the road that leads us eye to eye, that leads us in alignment. I'll get a love message here. All right, we have, I'm proud of you. Oh, okay, so I'm proud of you for surrendering. They might have surrendered already, especially with this, this healing and this gratitude of, you know what? Whether like we fought or I was triggered, I was in pain, I'm thankful for this spiritual awakening. I'm thankful for this journey here. And we have, please don't forget my voice, okay? If you are cutting someone off or they cut you off, somebody's worried about um, being forgotten and they could never forget you, okay? They can never forget you. So again, if you're interested in adding these decks to your library, this is the Heart's Eye Oracle. And this is My Fairy Tale is Real. They are both in my Etsy shop. If you would like, if you're interested in bundling any decks, let me know. And I could create a special listing for you. I love you 3000. I'll see you real soon.